Hi everyone, Lucy here. So today's topic is a bit of a touchy subject. Um, I originally wasn't going to do this video because sometimes I think it's a bit personal but um, I think it kind of has to be out there in the open. Now I'm getting a lot of rude comments um, and messages on my YouTube videos um, about my eyes saying that um, I'm cockeyed and all this other stuff. Well <clears throat> there's a reason for that. I'm not cockeyed but anyway. Um, there's a name for it. I can't pronounce it so I'll just hold this up and that will kind of tell you what it is. Um, there. Sorry it's kind of turned around but anyway yeah I was born with that and um, I had three operations done on my eyes when I was much younger. I don't remember it, but that's what my dad's told me. And um, apparently, like back then, this eye here, because that's the one that I have trouble with, it used to be a lot more off than what it is at the moment. Usually, it's it's not always like that. It mainly goes like that when I'm really, really tired. Um, but some days it's just kind of like that and I can't help the way that my eye turns and that and I do get a lot of um, bad comments about it I do get a lot of rude people you know kind of say to me or oh, are you talking to me or are you looking at me kind of thing and it's really really embarrassing and you know I only just found out today that that's the name of what I actually had because I only received a letter today and my parents don't really like to talk about my um, medical history and everything else like that. So I just wanted to kind of clear up with everyone that that's what I have and if you look up on YouTube there's quite a few people that do have it. I'm not the only one in the world that has it. Um, so it's not uncommon and you know, you're not going to freaking catch it just by watching my videos. You know, you want to be a troll about it, then go somewhere else because I really don't want to hear it. And, you know, it's not easy having to have my eye like that and people saying all these negative things about me and to me. Um, you know, and knowing that I've had, you know, surgery already back when I was younger to kind of correct it because it was a lot worse um, you know I am maybe considering into looking into more surgery again to see if possibly it can be straightened out even more now that I'm older I'm not sure if that's possible um, but I'm hoping that in some way that it is possible and it will be able to be um, fixed up and everything else like that I'm not sure um, if it can't be, then, you know, if you know me or if you're a friend and you watch my videos, then I'm sorry, but it's kind of something that you're going to have to kind of put up with and kind of understand um, that, you know, that's just a condition that I have. And some people just think that, oh, it's just a lazy eye and whatever. And you'll, get, you'll be surprised on how many people tease others that do have a lazy eye like you know like it's our fault kind of thing I, I wasn't asked to be born this way obviously um and another thing too that people kind of tease me about in my videos is that um that I talk weird or that they don't understand what I'm saying or like I just talk stupid kind of thing if that makes it better to understand um, so the reason for that one is because I was also born with something called hydrocephalus. Um, I don't know much about it, but it's something to do with a thing called a PV shunt that was put in my head around here somewhere. And it's a tube that goes from there, goes down behind my ear, goes down there and it goes down towards into my stomach. Um, and that's because I've had that since a kid, a lot of people, um, if you find their videos, about hydrocephalus and PV shunts and that, a lot of them will tell you that they've had their shunts redone, you know, quite a few times and um, as we're with my one, you know, what, I'm 27 now and I've never had to 
um, change the shunt or anything else like that. So that, that's a good thing, I guess, from what I've heard. Um, so anyway, what I'm trying to say is that because I've got that, um, people that usually have that, and because it's like a major operation, and because I was only like six months old, um, with some people it does cause a, like just a tiny bit of brain damage, not obviously much, but um, it's enough to kind of, um, how can I try and put this, see this is what I'm talking about, see with if any normal person would be able to just sit there and kind of explain things is where sometimes I have to sit there and actually think about what I need to say and hopefully that it will come out clear as where sometimes it actually doesn't um, like yeah I know in my other videos that I'm talking normally because I know what I'm talking about you know with ghost hunting and stuff like that so it just kind of comes out there but because I'm talking about like my medical condition and everything else like that I, I don't really talk about it much and it's also hard because I don't know much about it so when I'm like trying to sit here and explain it to you it, it does make it more difficult um, so with the um, brain damage type thing you kind of um, people that have got it the majority of the time um, find it difficult to learn and understand certain things like with maths in school for example um, someone could sit there and explain it to me many times and I still wouldn't get it. It's not the fact that I'm dumb, so that's not what the story is. It's not the fact that I'm stupid or anything like that. It's the fact that my brain can't process it and I can't understand it. That's part of what happens when you get this shunt because of it's such like a major surgery done on your, your head and everything else like that. Um... So, yeah, there comes with the learning disability kind of thing and that's also why um, I don't work because I find it difficult to find a job and everything else like that and not many people will kind of give me a go, which I think is pretty stupid, but I guess that's what happens these days. Um, so there's that, but, you know, it hasn't really affected my life in any way. I mean, like, I went through school. I finished everything. Um, I've never had to repeat any classes or anything else like that. Um, I managed to have two kids. They're both healthy. They're fine. There's nothing wrong with them. Um, so it's just me, really. But my brother that was born in 1988, he passed away. He had the same thing as me. Um, I'm not too sure if there's more to that story, but knowing that my brother had the same thing and he died from it is kind of a bit weird but um, I don't know I guess I'm lucky in that sense but this video kind of really needed to be out there in the open because I'm just kind of sick of you know all the hate comments that I get and you know stupid rude comments I mean you know what would you do if it happened to you would you like it if someone was sitting there commenting on your stuff saying Oh, you're cockeyed and all this shit. Like, seriously, would you like that? I don't think so. Especially when, you know, you're much older and you've had to put up with that shit for your whole life. I don't think it's something that you would really appreciate. So just next time you comment and you say something nasty, put yourself, you know, in my shoes and think what it's really like and how I would honestly feel when you say that to me. Um... So I really hope that I don't lose any subscribers or anything over this matter. I really hope that it's not a big deal to people and everyone can kind of understand um, my situation and I'm not going to get like haters and stuff like that. That's kind of another reason why I didn't want to do this video but like I said it, it had to be out there in the open and another thing I'm not doing this video to get attention of any kind at all and obviously I'm not faking it because that's the eye that's kind of gone off a bit um, so it's something to do with like your eye muscle or something that's all I know but see I am tired so it's kind of going off a little bit but it does make it also difficult when like I want to take photos and stuff um, 
it always kind of turns out that my eye, one eye is kind of looking, see this one's fine, there's nothing wrong with this one at all. Um, like, you know, someone will take a photo and it kind of looks like I'm looking over there, but I'm actually looking at the camera, or well, to me that's what it looks like. I can be looking directly at the camera straight in my eyes, and then when someone um, takes it and I look at it, I'm actually looking in the opposite direction. So that makes it really, really annoying, um, like I said, and kind of embarrassing as well. And that's why sometimes when I do my videos, I kind of look in certain directions or I'm kind of fidgeting a lot to make it kind of look like that, you know, my eyes aren't like that because I'm really, really sick of the bad comments and stuff that I get. And I don't think that I should have to stop doing videos because of so many people that are like hating on me for it and everything else like that. So hopefully after you watch this, um, there won't be a problem, hopefully, and hopefully um, my friends that are watching uh, won't think any less of me, which I'm hoping that's not going to happen, but we'll just see how it pans out and then I guess um, I'll know who my real friends are from there. Thanks for watching.